the end of the hunting season. We're on our way to um, uh, a baiting site very close to Alma, uh, not too far from the town of Warmbards. Um, there's a uh, you know brown hyena hitting it consistently, as well as some bush pigs. So you know a lot of action happening there at the bait site, but. Um, yeah, the weather is looking like it's going to hold. Uh, with it being summer, there's you know been the threat of rain uh, for the last while now. Um, I know there was a bit of rain last night, but um, the hyenas did come in on the cameras, which was uh, great to see. So uh, yeah, we're going to give a little uh, little sit through the night tonight and uh, see what uh, what turns up. Hopefully, it's not all in vain. As I said earlier, we are uh, hunting two really awesome species tonight, brown hyena and, uh, and bush pig. You know, the brown hyena is known as South Africa's werewolf. Uh, really, really creepy looking animals, um, but you know, very unique in their own right. And then, you know, bush pig is notorious for not being known as the poor man's leopard, just because of the challenge that they offer, you know, in terms of hunting. So, you know, two incredible species, you know, coming into the same feeding spot. So, you know, I'll be quite happy to take either one. Um, you know, if the bush pig does come in, I'm with my, my best mate Rudy. You know, that could be a nice opportunity for him as well. But uh, yeah, just uh, two really exciting animals coming into the bait site. Um, so let's uh, you know, let's see what happens. I can't wait. Uh. Okay, we've uh, just come here to the the, the bait site. There's a working uh, orange orchard just behind us over here, um, with a beautiful mountain range in the back here, and there's water over here. So there's you know. You know, and the feed over there, there's lots of options for the animals that can get water as well as feed. The blind's just over here. Um, luckily, it's looking a bit rainy tonight, but it looks like it's going to be waterproof, so <laughs> we should be able to sit for the most of the night. But, um, yeah, I'll quickly go show you guys the bait site, but um, it's looking looking to be a good night. The wind's in the right direction, so, um, yeah, we've got lovely chairs to sit in, so we should be uh, aces for tonight. As you can see we've got a, a shooting channel down here to the bait site. We're actually at a pinch point in between three mountains that comes down into one, uh, one little section. Um, so, you know, that channels a lot of game into the, the, the area, so, you know, fingers crossed it happens tonight, but this is the bait side of it, yeah. As you can see, there's been a, a lot of activity here. Most of the bait's already been eaten. Um, we've just topped up the bait uh, this afternoon, so it's looking looking quite good. Uh, the usual pass, you can see there's quite a heavy, heavily utilized game trail down there, as well as off the back here. Um, yeah, we've obviously cleared all this brush here, so we have a nice, you know, field of view, but it's looking good. Uh, it's uh, 20 past 6 now. I don't think I want to spend too much longer talking out here in the open. I think things are going to start moving quite quickly. So I think, uh, yeah, I think let's head in and see what we can do. We're in the blind now. Um, it's not often that you have the luxury of sitting in couches in the blind. So this is going to be a great sit, hopefully. Uh, hopefully the wind stays away. But we've got the cushions, we've got the motion sensors. I think, uh, I think it's going to be good. We've got baboons screaming in the background, which uh, you know, saying goodbye to the day, so looking forward to the evening now. Can't wait. Okay, well, that just changed very quickly, guys. Uh, it went from uh, us getting the blind, sitting there for probably about an hour and a half or so, and this hyena coming right up to the blind, in front of us, less than a meter away, just panting. It sounded like a giant German shepherd had walked up to us. It was uh, quite unbelievable, and then he, you know, moseyed on off, and shortly after that, it began to you know, rain, but not just rain, I'm talking lightning, thunder, we were in the middle of it and, uh, you know, we just stuck it out, sat through it, it was uh, a little bit miserable, but we just, you know, had a feeling that this hyena hadn't scented us and he was going to come back and, um, yeah, we uh, took a long time for everything to settle after the rain and then, uh, you know, from <laughs> there's a couple of, you know, trials and whatnot from constantly waking Rudy up to, because he was snoring a bit, to meet you know, the one motion sensor not working, not getting comfortable, it was, you know, it, it, was, it was tough and uh, eventually um, um, Rudy and I woke up together at the same time. It's now about quarter to two in the morning and we heard there's a water hole just on the right of here and we heard lapping like a dog and Rudy just tapped me and he said, he said, damn, I think he's back, I think he's back and true as well, it wasn't 30 seconds later and he was at the bait there and I could see him with the naked eye, the moon was so bright tonight and uh, uh, you know, I was I was very quick to get the gun out and uh, get the night vision on and take the shot. So unfortunately, I forgot to hit record in the <laughs> excitement. But I think there's a dead hyena over there, so we're gonna go have a look now. It was awesome. No ways! Look at the size of that thing. Look at the hyena. Oh, oh my word, 
Look at the size of that hyena roof. How bizarre. Uh, Look at it. Wow, wow, wow. What a magnificent hyena. <laughs> what a magnificent Unreal. hyena. Unreal. Unreal. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Unreal. <laughs> oh God, guys, here. Here it is. This is a dream come true. A total dream come true. I couldn't have uh, en envisioned a, a better hyena than this. This thing is an absolute monster. I mean, his head is just gigantic. He's he's old. He's got tattered ears. It's just this is a dream come true. I'm absolutely, absolutely in love with the hyena. I mean, look at those teeth there. That's just amazing. No, I, I love him and oh, I'm, I'm tickled pink. Thank you so much, Rue, for being. Being here with you, man, it was awesome. No way, dude, that was incredible. Loved it. Awesome.